Hey everybody, Fat Bird Finds here. This is Laura and we're making a quick stop in Chattanooga. I am on a road trip to Savannah, but you know I have to, to figure in one, at least one vintage stop. So I chose what they call the best antique store in Chattanooga. That's what the sign says. So let's go in here and see what we can find. I'm excited. <laughs> This is a warehouse, as you can see from the outside. And so there's a huge array of booths, lots of different vendors. It's kind of like a vendor slash antique mall. But already I can tell that it is totally geared towards mid-century and mid-century modern. So I think that's really different because usually we'll only see a booth here and there. But as I was walking in, I could tell, I could see from a distance that there's going, going to be plenty of mid-century. So that should be really fun to look at. I can also tell already that, you know, we're going to find mostly retail priced items. And I'm going to be satisfied with that today. I'm going to really seek out and show you guys the most interesting things and not be so... Um, not be so focused on finding a bargain because um, today I don't have room to take things with me. I'm moving my daughter back from Savannah closer to home and uh, there's not going to be any room in the car coming back. We've got to squeeze every single thing that we can squeeze into the car. <laughs> so anyway, um, but look at all these fun, cute items that we're looking at here. I love the way they've got the blow molds and the trees displayed up there on that ledge. That looks fantastic. Of course, one of the hallmarks of mid-century modern is the glassware. And that piece right there, $75. I think we had that piece at Misty's pop-up sale recently and sold it. That Fenton piece. This is a pretty blue leaf ashtray and I'm working my way through that's a pretty paperweight I've noticed that I've started seeing either noticing or seeing lots more paperweights lately so um, keep your eye open for pretty paperweights they are really good sellers this gorgeous Murano bowl of course is a favorite of mine the whole booth is 30% off, but that's still a little um, high for me um, for a resale. So I have to leave it behind. You guys, look at this donkey. You won't believe this. I showed this because Mary Beth loves a donkey. And then later on, I found it at an estate sale for $6. <laughs> that one was $30. It's the exact one, I think. That's so funny. And look at these little Children of the World Avon bottles. Those are so cute. Th now those Avon bottles, I would like to have. I would like to collect those. A little Tupperware set that says from the 80s. It looks, well, 1980s, so almost 70s. It, it looks very 70s. The packaging was cute on that. And then, oh, I thought I found us something here. They're so cute. But upon closer inspection, you can see he has issues. So he has to stay. Now we're getting to some really awesome uh, mid-century modern booths and displays. Um, of course, we've got our swung vases here. Uh, the green is not the most desirable, but I love the height of that one. That's a pretty one. Um, we've got the amber glass here and then look at the mushrooms and look at the Drexel uh, display table. It was $780 and there's a Viking mushroom. They're still selling in the $100, $120 range. That's a lot to pay for a mushroom, right? <laughs> but they are gorgeous. This is more of the boho. Uh, Mom and I were talking about it the other day. The boho is kind of falling off a little, I, I think. 
uh, with the macrame and everything, but I do love these butterfly mid-century glasses. Those are gorgeous. And the funny thing about the boho is I think the brass <laughs> is sticking around. So people are still loving the brass. Look at this brass giraffe. Um, they had $70 on him. We've got a couple at Layman's that are gorgeous. Um, so yeah, the brass is still, you know, getting more popular, but I think the, um, uh, you know, the rattan, the macrame and stuff is kind of cooling off a little. Here's a gorgeous bittersweet vase for you guys. I love decorating with the bittersweet for Halloween. I think that is so cool. And then can we just talk about these clocks in this booth? This is the largest selection of atomic mid-century clocks that I have seen in one spot, like in one booth. Look how many there are. I think a clock really screams mid-century for your room. If you're trying to figure out one piece that makes your room a mid-century modern room, it would be a clock, I think, the atomic ones. Oh, we can't pass up the little elves. We got we to gotta look at the pixies, wherever they are. I love this panther, the little planter. He's so pretty. And who doesn't love a, a, a little skunk? <laughs> he was cute. If I was buying more things, I would have picked him up, but um, I didn't have anything so far, so I, I sort of, I kind of left him behind. I have to keep on my travel schedule. Cute little pair of kitty cats, but they were damaged. So of course that's that's a no-go. Look at this, they had, this booth they had printed out, in, not instructions, but information on the glass, magic glass. So, I mean, we say Alexandrite, it's that color, you know, it changes color in different lights. So you hardly ever see several pieces of this together. So that was kind of a neat collection to see. Oh, Katie Vintage and Vinyl would love this. Look at that. Look at their sign for their retro vinyl. I think that's so cute. They had a really, really nice selection of that. So if you guys are into that or collectors, you should check that out sometime. It's looking like Christmas in this booth. Of course, we always love our vintage Christmas. Is there a murder elf lurking about in here? I don't see him. <laughs> this is the regu this is the set minus the actual murder elf. Thirty dollars. Home co. Told ya, it's getting popular. And there's just lots of little cute things. Look at that little snowman graphic down there. Little Fontanini. Um, Nativity set. Those are collectible. And of course, look at our little spaghetti Santa. He's Napco. He's a bank. And he's adorable. Aww. And now you see what I mean. Like, this is the next booth, and it has tons of mid-century. I mean, look at the atomic clocks here in this booth and the artwork on the walls, the uh, pebble lamp up there, super mid-century. And um, we got these pretty blue um, pictures gorgeous and then um yeah so it's just so rare to go into a place that has this much of this era 
there's paint by numbers over there. I started out really looking for paint by numbers everywhere and I found a lot of them, but I think that has already cooled off as well. I, I think the, the, the fad is kind of passing us by there on the paint by numbers. I still like them a lot. And now this booth has a lot of 70s in it as well, but um, oh, look at this lamp with the crushed lucite. Mom and I found one of these on one of our trips, like in Owensboro, Kentucky, I think. It was yellow. That was a good price on that lamp. Again, if I had more time, um, probably would have picked that up. I think that should sell for more like $65, and it was just 20 You guys, look at these tables. I knew they were gonna be expensive. I was afraid to look at the tag. <laughs> but they are restored from Germany, it says. $400. Straight up 50s atomic side tables or end tables. Look how good that barware looks on them. Those are so cool. <laughs> Of course, there's a little set of blue and poly bottles. I like the varying sizes grouped together there. It looks really cute. And see, this booth has just tons. It has lots of the cruel embroidery um, work for the pictures, which is super popular right now. There's lots of glass. Lots of uh, mid-century furniture, owls, <laughs> all the telltale mid-century things. They wanted $60 for the butterflies. I loved the butterflies, but of course, no room there to make anything. $169 for the Siamese cat TV lamp. That's the mom and the kittens. I thought that was cute. You know, you usually see pairs of Siamese cats. You don't usually see the mom and the kittens. This is their back room. And even back here in their back room, they've got it um, kind of decorated mid-century. This is a really pretty little uh, hutch or, yeah, um, china cabinet. But, yeah, they call it a hutch. Of course, they have the... Hallmark glass sliding doors on that on that one. That was a good deal for somebody. And then you see these birds a lot. Totally mid-century, but look, yeah, he has a chip on his nose. <laughs> They're always chipped a little bit. They're very fragile. MCM Orange Butterfly Ashtray, that says. That looks like Treasure Craft. What do you guys think? I think it is. And if you need a Bigfoot in your life, <laughs> they even have that. I think it's like $2,000. Is that what that says? Yep. But there is a statement piece for you. <laughs> it's so funny. And then we're going to end here with this classic mid-century glassware with the swung vases, even a little black cat, the fused glass plate. Just gorgeous. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, give us a like and hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already um, so you can see more of this kind of content. We do flipping and sipping on Friday nights. That's a live vintage show and sale. So you can join us there 8 p.m. Central anytime. And we just appreciate you. We appreciate you being here. We'll leave you with the lobster, which is one of our <laughs> channel uh, mascots. And just stay tuned to see what Fatbird finds next. And we will see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.